Hey soul family, what's up? What's going on? This is the Phoenix Cloud Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Isa. I'm your friendly neighborhood intuitive oracle slash tarot reader and I'm doing the darn thing today for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Cross Watcher. This is going to be your general love reading for the week. So please keep in mind that not all of the messages are going to resonate for every single Cancer. Um, take what resonates for you and leave what doesn't. I don't know what my problem is today, guys. I'm just, I'm on one. Take what resonates for you, leave what doesn't. If nothing resonates at all here in your sun sign, then definitely check your other placements. And if those don't resonate, feel free to check out the older readings, okay? Down in the description box is where you can find me on other social media outlets. It's also where you can make a love donation to my channel. And you can find a lot of the cards that I use in the readings, okay? Um, last but not least, guys, I currently am not doing any personals, so please don't get fooled or scammed by anybody. And if any of this resonates for you at all, definitely please show your girl some love by liking. It's a nice way to say thanks. Uh, definitely subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell and it will put me in your feed even if the notification doesn't pop up. All right. And com comment down below. Feel free to comment. Okay. All right. Let's get going. Let's see what's going on with cancer, please. What's going on with cancer and their nerve life? What are they thinking and feeling about their connection? What's going on with cancer? Some of you could be pregnant right now. Okay. Um, we have the hermit out. You're doing a lot of thinking, doing a lot of soul searching. And we have the nine of cups. So some of you could be in some sort of connection. I get a single vibe here too, which is rare uh, when I'm doing uh, the love reading. Some of you might be single and you're kind of looking for your person right now. So you might be part of the story where there's an interest that's over here. Okay. But I feel like some of you are doing really well. You're in a really interesting growth period. Um, you're you're on like a spiritual journey too. And um, I feel like you could feel pretty content and happy with where you're at in a relationship that you might be in, okay? What's going on with your person? And please trust me when I say things can change the minute I start to clarify these things, okay? going on with cancer's person ten of cups very nice yep i see a really nice uh connection here honestly um i'm seeing that some of you may have some kids together or a baby on the way this person feels in love they're very emotionally fulfilled and happy seven of pentacles and the queen of pentacles they're in a relationship with you i don't see any drama i don't see anything happening here now this could be past energy we might be we might be getting ready to get into it but i don't see anything bad here i feel like you could be feeling a little bit withdrawn and if there's a lot going on for you if you're feeling a lot of like you're taking care of other people or you're handling a lot in your life you might feel that way but i don't see that you're miserable okay what's the mutual juju between um these two people between cancer and this person please Okay, you could be having some weird financial issues that may be causing a little tension in the relationship. I do see five of pentacles. There could occasionally feel like one of you or both of you, um, maybe you shut each other out once in a while here, I'm getting. Um, you may tend to feel distant from each other, but I don't see that this is some sort of like terrible terrible problem your communication might be lacking okay like your communication um there's something going on with the financial situation uh, quite possibly with the five of pentacles in the house in the house something about the house but i get some like emotional distance that's happening here okay what's the challenge here please for cancer what's the challenge for cancer The star and the knight of cups, there is some healing that needs to maybe happen in this connection, maybe some expressions of love. So what I get is that maybe some, maybe like someone hasn't been spending enough time, somebody may be putting more 
time and effort into something that they're doing instead of the connection, okay? But I don't, so far, not good. I'm not seeing anything terrible here, okay? What's the advice? Oh, I just saw the Ace of Cups starting over. Why is, <laughs> what's the Ace? No, what's the advice? Not what's the Ace of Cups. What's the advice? <laughs> Dang it, Isa. The Tower. It's not terrible. And the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, we'll talk about it in a minute. We have Cancer at the bottom, which is perfect. That's your energy. This is moving forward very rapidly. And we have the Three of Cups. So I feel like for some of you, this is celebrating going out together doing things having a good time you know what i'm saying like putting movement and life back into the connection you have with this person now why is the empress here please for cancer why is the empress here i feel like you're just doing a lot cancer yeah ten of pentacles you're working really hard and I, I, that's what i feel that's what i felt you know you're you're working at having a legacy, uh, homes, things like that, buying land, whatever it is. Like, I feel like work with this three of swords, something that you're doing that's trying to grow the entire family is what is coming in between this connection here. For others of you, there's a straight up third party. That's what somebody got pregnant. Okay. This is so you can read these cards a million different ways, guys, but I picked them up energetically. Energetically, there's some fuckery going on here with somebody, okay? So I got to say it. But for the most part, the main story that I'm getting here, the main storyline is two people that have a great relationship um, that are kind of growing apart right now, okay? But not for terrible reasons. Why is the hermit here? I just saw the seven of pentacles. Why is the hermit here, please? Okay, things could be moving really, really fast here, okay? With the Queen of Swords, um, you know, I, I feel like you're just doing a lot. You're making a lot of like power moves here, a lot of decisions, all right? And having to use your wisdom here with the hermit. You could be quietly doing a lot of things, uh, but everything might be feeling like you might be traveling around a lot for work or something that you're doing, all right? So it requires you to maybe be away from home more than you would like to. So you can't quite be paying attention to every little thing or be there emotionally available, all right? Now, if this is that fucked up scenario, uh, where somebody's getting cheated on here, this person is probably at a distance. And yes, this is a secret. And I feel like uh, cancer, if this is you or your person, you guys have been beefing. You've been beefing back and forth with each other uh, because this is, you know, uh, an affair. Okay. Why is the nine of cups here? And I feel like somebody's saying to you, cancer, if you got to cut her off or cut him off. Like, or you're saying that somebody's saying you got to cut this person off with the queen of swords. All right. Why is the nine of pentacles here? Yeah. Like I said, um, ace of swords, um, and the emperor, this is, and the nine of cups, you know, this is somebody trying to lay down a solid foundation. This is a person really strategizing, really clear about the future and what they want. Aries energy. We have Virgo, we have Libra Taurus. Okay, uh, Aquarius out here and Scorpio. So you could be with dealing with a very fixed energy and people that are fixed energy. I know because I'm a Leo and I'm a Scorpio rising and I'm a Taurus moon. We get really fixated on whatever it is we're working at when we're in love with people, whatever we're doing. Okay, so whoever you're dealing with or this is you. Uh, cancer you're really fixated on the future and making things happen right now it's almost like your personal mission or maybe you guys are really seeking to be living in your purpose or something like that okay now if we're talking about this weird drama of somebody else I feel like somebody is trying to come to you is making like a declaration of love to the other person and basically saying listen I know what I want and that is you and I'm going to do the right thing here. I need you to trust me. Okay. 
Now, why do we have this nine of cups, or sorry, ten of cups for this person, for Cancer's person? Why do we have the ten of cups? Why do we have the ten of cups? Okay, we have the knight of wands. This person, uh, very high energy, very excited, very passionate. I think they see you chasing your dreams and doing, um, doing what you truly love here. Okay, hold on. Sorry, guys. Some days I'm just, I can't shuffle for shit. Okay, why do we have this Ten of Cups? Yeah, they love you. They see that you're on a mission, okay? So the person that you're in a marriage with, in a relationship, whatever, they support you. You know, they see that you're on a mission. Um, you know, they, they are very fond of you. I think they're excited by you. You know, they look up to you. They might be very inspired by you. They think you're brave and confident, right? And they think they feel really good about the connection for the most part. Why is the six, sorry, seven of pentacles here? Why is the seven of pentacles here? Why are they feeling seven of pentacles? Queen of Pentacles. They know that you're working very hard. Um, I feel like this person knows that you want to get things to the next level. So they do realize that there's a lot of sacrifice involved, but that you're doing it for the greater good of the family. Okay. I'm going to read this with the other scenario in just a second, because these are really positive cards. They may feel like they want to sort of resurrect the vibe, though. I will say that because that's kind of the energy I'm getting. Like you're spending too much time working or they are. So they really want to kind of get that romance back with the Knight of Cups and that sexual passion with the Knight of Wands. You know what I'm saying? That big ding -a -ling -a -ling energy. All right. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? They might be tired of just wearing mom bras and going to sleep, you know? Sometimes you got to spice it up. <laughs> Why is the queen of pentacles here? Yep. The lovers, they want to, they love you. Queen of pentacles. They just want to have a deep, uh, a deeper connection. You know, they want to be, have more harmony with you. Stuff like that. Okay. Why else do we have this queen of pentacles? The chariot. Um, yeah, you know, They know that you're in a very ambitious period of your life and this person could be very uh, ambitious as well or very self-disciplined. We have Gemini and we have Cancer here, but I feel like they just want to move forward. They, they want a little bit more out of the connection with you guys because maybe you felt very separated too with that lovers. Maybe your communication has been lacking, okay? And there's been some sort of blocks between the two of you being able to really communicate. Maybe uh, somebody here is spending long periods of time away from the home. All right. We do have three of wands and the six of swords. So there could be distance between you two. But overall, I don't see any bad energy or any bad vibes here. Now, when it comes to this connection, if we look at like the drama here, um, I think that... This is the person that is in a connection with somebody else because we have the queen of pentacles two times. I feel like you guys really love each other. Knight of wands, knight of cups, ten of cups. I feel almost as if this person isn't necessarily miserable in the connection they have with whoever they're with. But there's something about you. There's something about you that brings out their romance and brings out their passion. Okay. Whoever this is, they want a second chance with you because they do see the value in this connection with the um, Seven of Pentacles, okay? I feel almost like they want to make you um, their wife, you know, or their husband, something like that. They want a higher level of commitment with you. They want to give you the relationship. They want to secure, they want you to secure the bag, but this person needs to literally cut off another wife and figure it out and move forward with you. Okay. Or however that resonates. So I've definitely got two solid stories here. All right. Why do we have this three of wands, please? Why is this three of wands here? 
yeah five of swords there's some conflict about like when your person goes away if we're talking about scenario one um you know there might be some fighting or you know disagreements or something like that um it could be about money it could be about the balance who's giving what or who's doing what in the relationship okay so i feel like somebody is just really looking and waiting here they're, they might want to confront or you guys have already had some arguments about it and it's like somebody's waiting for you or you're waiting for this person to kind of get the shit together, right? To like get your fucking act together, balance it out. Where's the, you know, I need money. Maybe somebody's a stay at home mom or dad, you know? So I feel like it's wanting balance between the two of you, but there's some arguments about that. Why do we have the six of swords? I'm going to read the other side uh, when I'm done, okay? We have the death card, okay? Something's over. There could be a transition or you're moving into another phase in this relationship with the Six of Swords and the Death card Scorpio energy. Why else do we have the Six of Swords? Five of Cups. You know, somebody might be having a hard time seeing the positive about somebody maybe moving, um, like traveling for work or something like that. Um, somebody might be feeling a lot of like sadness that things are changing. Maybe you're feeling a lot of distance between each other emotionally and you've been arguing. Okay. Wanting to really get back to the place that you were at before, but things need to be balanced here. All right. Hi Sarge. What are you doing? Are you attacking me? Are you attacking me? You want to come and see everybody, big girl? Here's Sachi. You see her? She's such a big girl now. Remember, do you guys remember when she was like fitting in my little palm? Now she's ginormous. Mm -hmm. And she's a big girl and she's always attacking me. All right, be good. She's like, dang it, you messed my fur up. All right, why is the five of pentacles here? Why is the five of pentacles here? The magician yeah somebody wants to change things okay so the home may feel empty and cold there might be a lot of uh, distance here between the two of you guys so somebody really wants this to change and this is just putting in the work making progress with it with the knight of pentacles and changing things you know taking the action here with the magician to make things change so somebody one of you might be saying hey why don't we go see a counselor like we both need to sit down talk this stuff out i feel the sadness of like you not being there things have changed between us there's a distance that i feel you know i feel like somebody expressing this i, I don't see anybody giving up on this particular particular connection I see you guys trying to make plans to figure it out and work it out okay why we have the four of pentacles please yeah it's worth holding on to three of pentacles page of swords and the four of pentacles I mean come on this is coming up with brand new ways to talk to each other page of swords like really talking to each other learning more about each other there's always new levels of love that we can uh, take on, you know, and this is somebody wanting to learn. They're, they're like a little sponge, you know what I'm saying? Three of pentacles working together, building, you know, four of pentacles. This is two people that want to work this out somehow. Okay. They want to put the work in and they want to see this succeed and thrive. Now, if we talk about drama city, um, yeah, there's a lot of conflict going on because somebody is giving to two people here. One of these people could be at a distance quite possibly, or that's the thing that they want, okay? Which could be you, Cancer. Cancer, this could also be you want somebody, okay? I don't know what the hell y'all are doing, all right? I don't know your business. I just read the cards. But there's a lot of mind fuckery going on here with the Five of Swords. Somebody feels like manipulated, their head played with, there's arguments, and it's because somebody is over here breadcrumbing, all right? Giving to two people or trying to figure out how they can. You might be dealing with somebody who's trying to have their cake and eat it too. You know what I mean? All right. So I think you guys might have had a blowout, a breakup, six of swords, the death card, five of cups, sad about it. Okay. You might have broken up with this person because you're like, dude, what the fuck? 
when are we ever going to be together? Okay. You keep telling me we're going to be together, but you know, and I'm over here pregnant or whatever the situation is like, I'm over here waiting for you. What is going on? Okay. So there's a lot of drama involved here. And this person's like, but baby, you don't understand five of pentacles. I got to leave somebody out in the cold. How am I going to magically do that? Right. And you're like, bitch, I don't know. Get a, do it. I don't know. Do what you got to do. Get a job, whatever it requires. Right. You really want to be with me. You're going to have to show me. All right. Show me. Make it happen. Okay. Make plans. So your person or you, whoever's the one who is trying to leave a relationship is trying to make plans here. How do they escape? Right. What are all the things that they need? You know, this person's got to make their dream a reality, right? With the magician. So this person's trying to strategically figure out how they're going to magically delicious their way out of this shit, right? All right, cool. So you guys are having a conversation about it. I feel like there's news coming in. Your person has an idea in order for them to be with you. But I also feel at the same time, this person is trying to protect themselves with the four of pentacles as well. Okay. And I almost feel like this person wants to almost try to convince you like, can we just make this work somehow? You know what I mean? At least for the time being, can you be okay with the fact that I'm still with my man or I'm still with my wife? Are you okay with that? Because I love both of you. I want to be with both of you. It's hard for me to let go of this. I've been with this person for a while or we have a family or kids, right? I have property and shit. It's more complicated than you understand. All right. All right, cool. So the challenge, the star, the knight of cups, keeping hope alive regarding the love, regardless of which situation or scenario you are. Okay. Why do we have this here as a challenge? Being hopeful. Yeah, the page of wands. So this for me is just about being enthusiastic, and be, being inspired, right? Continuing to have that newness with this when it comes to that first scenario where we're looking at a couple who are just going through a tough time right now, okay? This is having that spirit of that new exploration, you know, uh, the romance and the love, sharing the love and talking to each other about it, being hopeful and healing the connection, okay? And doing that by taking it one day and one step at a time, okay? Now, why do we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Tower as the um, advice? And I'm going to tell you, the Ten of Pentacles, again, that's about that long-term, uh, you know, working for things, being well-established, leaving a legacy. And the Tower is about reestablishing that, right? That could be an epiphany about this family, whatever this is, being worth it for some of you. When we're talking about the first scenario, this is about rebuilding the foundation, okay? The advice is to rebuild the foundation. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here with the Tower? <clears throat> Yeah, this is about leaving behind any of that old energy with the tower, right? That we're trying to get rid of, eight of cups, right? Putting any sadness or any sort of, um, any sort of like dissatisfaction and dis disappointment, like putting that behind you guys for the first scenario and reestablishing what you're really in this for, that, that connection and not just that um that physical connection with the coins but that mental and that spiritual connection with each other now in the other scenario <laughs> the advice is probably to let this be okay it's to walk away tower right and and leave that to where it belongs with the ten of pentacles okay walking away from this situation that you thought was going to be long term all right now, for uh, the other situation when it comes to what the challenge is, the challenge is you staying hopeful and kind of, you know, I'm going to say it, don't be naive about this, okay? Keep your options open is what I feel like. Explore other options when it comes to love. That's going to be the challenge for you, I think, is like 
loving yourself enough to know that there's something else out there for you, okay? All right, let's see what else we got for you, Cancer. What else do we have for Cancer? Sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. That could be possible that somebody's doing that since we did have the page of swords. But I think this could be you with your person if you're in the dramatic scenario or them with you, okay? We then have Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, or meeting, hesitation. So for those of you I just said, keep the hope alive because there is going to be somebody for you okay now cupid's arrow is also this eight of wands that we saw here this is about shooting those arrows of love back and forth to each other you know words of 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 encouragement words of love and affirmation right so that couple that might be struggling right now it's finding that love again okay finding that love again with each other and then the last one is the hammer sabotage rebuilding that's what the tower is, rebuilding, repetitive, persistent, working on it. This is putting that work in, rebuilding something, right? Sometimes we have to tear things down so we can build them back in a different way, right? Relationships get tested. That's just the nature of relationships. Unfortunately, we seem to live in this fake reality that relationships should be perfect. And if they're not, then we need to walk away from them right away. No relationship is going to be perfect. But if you don't have that foundational stuff, that's a real problem. So if you're dealing with somebody, and I'll be honest with you guys, I literally just went through this. I went through being with somebody who did not say that they were in a connection with somebody else. Right? What's that foundation built on? Nothing. It's not built on anything. It's built on a lie. So either A, you need to split up with that person or B, that person needs to make a choice. And if they're not willing to walk out of their situation, what kind of relationship is there, right? So please be hopeful that if you're leaving out of this relationship where some of you are an option, you'll find something better, right? Hey, I've had every scenario now in my life, all right? I'm, I'm damn near 50 years old. So like, yeah, you know, your girl got caught up in that shit too. All right, what else? I think we just have one. Separation. Yep, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. And I feel that's for story number two, where you're dealing with somebody who has somebody else already. Okay. For those of you going through the um, scenario with where you're in a relationship and you're just kind of struggling passion boom exactly what you guys need restore the passion and the connection okay it says allow your heart and soul to sing with joy all right so this is what i got for you cancer thank you so so much for being here if any of this did resonate for you at all please show your girl some love by smashing the love button definitely comment down below if you want to and don't forget to subscribe see you later